I'm Alexis Van Herkman, and welcome to Resolve in a Rush, where you'll learn DaVinci Resolve grading and finishing techniques in under five minutes. I'm just going to quickly show you how multicam editing works in DaVinci Resolve. And if you're really interested, you can hit the documentation. And if you're even more interested in seeing more examples, you can check my longer editing title. So I will drag to select all of these clips. These are all angles of a performance. And when I right click and go down to the bottom of the contextual menu, I can choose create multicam clip using selected clips. I happen to know that I want to sync these via waveform syncing. And I'm going to leave this checkbox on for moving the source clips to an original clip spin. Resolve goes ahead and lines all of those up for me after doing an analysis and gives me a multicam clip. The fastest way I can edit this is to right click it and choose create timeline using selected clips. I'm just going to call this multicam edit, create my new timeline, and if I press shift Z to frame it up, I can see that I've got my clip ready to go with very loud audio levels. Go back up to the source viewer. I'm going to switch this up a little bit. I'm going to close the media pool because I don't need to be in there anymore. I'm going to make these viewers larger. I'm going to make my clip larger because why not? If I turn off show audio waveforms, I can minimize that and give myself even more room. And to start doing multicam switching, all I have to do is go back to this mode pop-up in the lower left-hand corner underneath the source viewer and choose multicam. And that allows me to see all of the angles. I can choose how many angles I want to see. If I have more angles than are visible, I can switch among multiple pages of them. And then to start editing, I can just initiate playback and start clicking. As soon as I click, I add edits down here in the timeline. And it pretty much is that simple. After editing, I can right click any clip and I have a pop up for switching multicam angles manually. And there's much, much more I can do. For example, I could select any multicam clip, open it in the timeline to see its contents. And at this point, I can go into the color page and actually see all of the angles as long as I turn Unmix on. And I can color grade each angle relative to one another. So that's multicam editing in a nutshell.